So a while back, I installed Windows 7 on my Mac. And uh, today I just thought that I should make a video showing you how to do that. Alright guys, so if you want to install any of Microsoft's operating systems onto your Mac, you can do that via VMware, Parallels, or Bootcamp. But what I use is VMware Fusion, and that is what I'm going to be using in this tutorial also. So the things you're going to need is a copy of VMware, you're going to need a copy of your operating system, that's number 2, XP, Vista, 7, whatever you want, it can be in DMG or disk file format. Once you've got those installed and inserted in your Mac, we can get started. Okay guys, so go ahead and launch VMware Fusion and, and, and as you can see, I've already installed Windows 7 here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click New and here is the new Setup Assistant. Alright everyone, so I just want to let you know that I will be installing XP for now since I already have Windows 7 installed, but it's 98% of the same process. All you have to do is just select XP or Windows 7. So I've just inserted the disk and this Assistant has recognized it. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on install this operating system or install different operating system. We're going to click on is install this one because that's what you want to do. Click on continue and you just use the easy install because that's the easiest way to do it. If you want to have a password, if you don't have a password, you could, it's optional. And of course the product key, if you want it or don't want it, it's of course your choice. I just have my name listed here. All you can do is click continue and you can click on continue without product key. And here is where you can select to share your home folder, folder mirror folders, or copy it or do nothing. I like to share my home folder, so I'll click continue. Actually, I'm gonna click on go back for now and click on none just for the purposes of this video. Click continue, and here's where you can customize the settings of what your operating system can have out of your system. So how much RAM and how much disk space you are given out of your internal hard drive. And I'm gonna click finish, and it is going to ask me where to save it, and there we have it. Now this process may take a while, but essentially what it's doing is it's going through the setup of the operating system. So if it's Windows 7 or XP or Vista, it's just going to go through the setup of installing the operating system in that window. Follow the instructions and that's all you have to do. Once you're done, VMware will relaunch and it will have the operating system ready for you. And that's essentially how you do it. Now here are some things I want to let you know of. If you installed Windows 7, VMware might ask you to install antivirus software on that operating system just to keep your Mac safe. I suggest you do that. You know how Microsoft is. Also, if you're installing XP, it might ask you for a product key, which is what happened to me. In that case, you'll just have to enter your product key. If you don't have one, you're going to have to find one. And that's essentially it. And that's basically it. It's as simple as following the instructions in VMware Fusion. So every time you launch VMware from now on, you can select which operating system you want to launch, start the guest, and the operating system will start to turn on. And one more thing I want to tell you, you might want to change the system settings of the resolution of that operating system. Because I have a 24 inch iMac and that small square just doesn't cut it. So I just went to the control panel or something like that and I changed the resolution in Windows 7. Enjoy! And if you do encounter any problems, please don't hesitate to email me at macboytheme at gmail.com. You can find that and more information in the link over there. I mean in the sidebar over there. As well as my email, you will find my Twitter and my blog. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see y'all next time right here on MacBook Productions.